The big thing about this brand that is incredibly important in any ruler you pick up is a sight line. Now, a lot of times when I mention that, people don't have a clue what I'm talking about. And the easiest explanation of what a sight line is, is where from north to south in a strip cutter, let's say, in a rectangle ruler, there's empty space in the line. In other words, when I go from one inches to two inches from top to bottom, there's a hole somewhere in that straight line that lets me decide where is the middle of the line. In testing rulers, one thing I found which just astonishes me is there are plenty of rulers with three different size lines on them. The inch will be one width, the half inch will be another width, and the quarter inch will be another width. Now, if it's a solid black line running from top to bottom of that ruler, and you're cutting a lot of different size strips, I want someone to explain to me how you get it in the middle and where is the middle in all three of those different width lines. See, I think if you can't see the middle, it's a guessing game every time. You're a little to the left or you're a little to the right. And I have people say, well, I'm consistent where I cut. Well, there's only one right, and that is where it's supposed to be. So it's not a debatable issue. This is not an opinion. It's a fact. If you're supposed to have a two, and you cut a little bit to the left, you don't have a two. So you either do or you don't. Then if you have to compensate for it somewhere else down the pike, either in your sewing or sliding your needle or, so, or sewing the scant quarter, which just sends me over the edge, then I think in most cases, I'd recommend you visit your ruler again and say, hmm, oh, I see, I can't see the middle of the lines. Now, if whatever you're working with isn't the brand I'm working with and all your blocks that are supposed to be 12 and a half are 12 and a half, then you've obviously overcome and or you're working with a good ruler. So don't worry about it if you go, oh my gosh, mine's not that and, and yet I'm having good luck, should I change? The answer then would be, that would be up to you. But I'm speaking to the person who struggles constantly with trying to get a 12 and a half and not real clear why and owns a drawer full of rulers.